Hello everyone. So usually when I do collection videos, it's the stuff that I really focus on, my absolute favorites, you know, certain movies that I have on most formats or TV shows that have complete collections of those absolute favorite things that I revisit constantly over the years and will revisit forever as long as, as, long as I can. Uh, so today I want to talk about something that's a little different because while I do talk a lot about those things because those are things I'm passionate about and those are the things I, I collect the most and spend the most time with uh, during my free time, there are you know a lot of things that it's a little more of a casual relationship with. Most movies, I we only have maybe one co a copy of in the collection, maybe on DVD, that's probably that's the most dominant format, sometimes Blu-ray, and usually, usually if we have a second, it's because it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, or maybe we have one on DVD and one on Laserdisc. A few examples of maybe there was a later edition that had some extra features and we kind of kept the old one for some reason. Yeah. But most things, most TV shows, movies, games, whatever, most stuff we just have one copy of. Uh, it's just I focus on a lot of the bigger collection stuff, the favorite things, and those are things I like to talk about. Uh, but one area of the collection that definitely has a lot more of a casual focus is television. There are favorite shows, of course, that we revisit all the time, and I will rewatch from start to finish in cycles over the years. Things like Star Trek, you know, just every Star Trek series through Enterprise, and a lot of absolute favorite shows from when I was growing up. Those types of things. But a lot of our TV collection is only one or two seasons of a show, and a lot of that is from um, our age demographic. Uh, for a lot of younger viewers who might not, you know, might know this, but not really realize the difference in the way television was presented in the past before you had streaming before you get dvd box sets of complete series for dirt cheap i mean sometimes you can get an entire box set of a tv series walk into a walmart for like 40 50 60 bucks that was not the case growing up you know before dvd is even around most tv shows were either very expensive and took up a lot of room to get on vhs or laser disc um, and many shows did not have any releases on VHS or Laserdisc. A lot of them had none, and there are still many more in the category of there were some VHS and Laserdisc releases, but they're typically like the Christmas episode collection, the best of, and probably not complete series, or they were only through, say, the Columbia House, you know, collector's line of VHS or whatever. It wasn't always easy to get that. A very few, I knew very few people growing up that had a complete set of any TV series. It was usually one or two favorite VHS tapes, that was it. You know, maybe one or two big Star Trek collectors out there that had, like, you know, those as they came out, but that was about it. Most TV shows, most people didn't own. It was more of you saw it on TV and you caught it when you could. And the other thing too was, growing up in the 90s when cable had expanded but hadn't exploded to thousands of channels and endless streaming and whatever, there was more variety in what was being shown because of shows in syndication, old reruns of older shows, there was more options, more channels were up and coming. You know, I was around when Nickelodeon got started, when Cartoon Network got started, when the Sci-Fi Channel got started. So you had more access through television than you did in previous decades, but it still wasn't quite the way it is now. The one thing that I consider to be a benefit, though, is that because you were limited to sitting down and watching things as they were airing, or taping something ahead of time that you wanted to keep and rewatch or watch at a later time, which took forethought and you had to figure out when something was airing, put a tape in, whatever, most TV that you consumed was as it came out, and I think you saw a greater variety of things because of the way it was set up. Let's say you had a show that was coming on at 6.30 that you really wanted to watch. You ate dinner or whatever, and or you set up dinner or watching TV during dinner, whatever you're doing, you ended up being in a position where you're sitting in front of the TV, going to the right channel, but it's only like 6.15. You have 15 minutes left. Maybe catch the last half of a sitcom you don't normally watch. Maybe it's a Friday night, you're not going anywhere, you have a favorite show. Uh, let's say you're watching Hercules and Xena on Friday nights. Hercules was 8 to 9, Xena was 9 to 10, uh, where I was. And maybe you're just not ready to go to bed. Or you decide you want to stay up late that night and you have nothing to do Saturday, whatever. You're in a position where, yeah, I just want to stay up and watch a little more TV, whatever. I don't, you know, I'm too tired to go read, whatever. And you watch something from 10 to 10.30 before going to bed that you don't normally watch, or 10 to 11. Or There's all these situations where you would catch 
random episodes of all these different shows you wouldn't normally actively go and watch. Things that if you're going through a Netflix menu you would just skip because it's not the, the particular thing you're looking for. And there were so many shows looking back that were like that where you would just catch or like time changes happened and you realize it and you get caught up in a show that you're watching. So there were dozens of shows from every decade of television that you would grow up just watching random episodes here or there of. And that's the same thing we do with our TV viewing now. We don't have any sort of cable service whatsoever. We very sparingly use streaming services. We have, you know, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, but really use them for, you know, Netflix, the Man Watch is 3% a lot. We watch The Mandalorian and a couple of things on Disney Plus. There's a few things on Hulu, whatever. You know, Pluto TV is a free thing, it's just on our on our TV, but we really, most of the TV that we watch is stuff that we physically own, and I still like to do the occasional casual just viewing of different TV shows. So I want to talk about a couple shows here and really hear about your experience growing up with TV. And if you do the same thing with collecting where you don't necessarily want complete collections of a certain show that you have an interest in. Let's say something like while I was growing up, two great examples here that we're done with for us, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Full House. These are both shows that we enjoyed, but we weren't loyal, I'm going to watch every episode as it airs type viewers. They were more just occasionally caught an episode, uh, maybe it was a marathon, or maybe it was just a random last 15 minutes of an episode, whatever. Enjoyed what we saw, but we weren't big fans. It was more of a casual viewing. So something like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, we have the complete first season on DVD, we wanted that, and season four, because there are a few particular episodes in this season that both of us remembered very fondly, must have been either rerun a bunch of times, or we just happened to catch them frequently, but this had a lot of episodes we liked, so we have that. And the same thing for Full House, complete season two, and then season five, for some reason, I don't know if the time slot changed, or my schedule changed, or whatever, but looking up episodes, I saw almost this entire season as it aired, but not any other season. I don't know what was going on, but like looking through, these are the episodes I actually remember. So I was like, all right, I gotta get that season. And these are the kind of things where occasionally maybe we'll throw on a half hour TV show and that's all the TV we're gonna watch. Or maybe if we're gonna watch an hour, hour and a half of TV instead of a movie, maybe we'll put on three episodes, but one of Full House, one of Fresh Prince or whatever, and then one of say like The Simpsons, that type of thing. And The Simpsons, The Simpsons is still ongoing. I really like The Simpsons, but really only about the first nine years or so. The first, you know, roughly decade of the show, I really liked and will rewatch and remember. And these are the shows I'll rewatch over time, but after that, I don't really care. And that's the thing, too. A lot of these shows, I wouldn't want a full DVD set collection because I would never watch it. I'm never going to have time to go through an entire start to finish of a lot of these shows, and I wouldn't really care to, but. I like them enough to where I do want some of them in the collection to revisit occasionally, the occasional fun episode. Same thing with Married with Children, only have the first season, MacGyver, just the first season, a lot of, again, reruns of older shows too, Quantum Leap, you know, season one, I think we have season four, Taxi, season two, really enjoyed that, but again, these are really the episodes that I saw growing up and just happened to find, you know, reruns, whatever of this season, and those are the ones I have to rewatch. Uh, the 60s Batman, the complete first season, a lot of 60s shows are that way. I mean, uh, Bewitched, Full Sets, and whatever, and Star Trek, and love those to death, but a lot of other stuff like A Dream of Genie. We have first two seasons. I'm good with that. I'm not going to rewatch much more than that. First season of The Monsters. I do want to have all the Addams Family. I prefer the Addams Family. Uh, complete second season of Hogan's Heroes. A lot of those shows that you know, I just want to revisit an episode or two every once in a while, but I'm never going to do a complete series run. Another show that was a favorite of my dad's, he had all the original DVD sets that had the, the like the parkas or whatever, that has zipped down over on the cover of uh, Northern Exposure. Uh, we have the second season here, and I do want to complete the Laserdisc collection, because there's only five or six releases, and I already have one, and they're cheap and easy to find, but those have all the original uh, licensed music and everything, and I do want to grab those, and then just one season of the show because it's a favorite that my my dad would watch in uh, the front room of our house was his office that had built-in bookshelves on the wall and his desk and his computer and whatever and he also had the big CRT that was in our old house there 
and then we had a newer CRT in the living room. So he'd spend a lot of time there working and then just kind of casually hanging out there too. You know, smoking, it was the only room in the house he was allowed to smoke in, he'd just watch, you know, TV in there, and a lot of times I'd come in and watch TV uh, with him and catch a lot of these favorite shows, like random episodes that he was watching of, say, Northern Exposure. Uh, so that's a lot of our TV collection. We have a lot of those favorite shows, usually sci-fi fantasy, Xena, Hercules, Buffy, all the Stargates, uh, Star Trek, that kind of stuff that we have full collections of, you know, sometimes more than full collections of for those series. But most TV shows, we have one or two seasons at most just because of that experience growing up of very casually catching an episode or two and enjoying it but not being a super fan of everything you can and watching everything. So I'd love to hear if you had a similar experience with that. I mean, I remember, I think the highest number of channels that we had while I was living at home or growing up was 60 something maybe. And a lot of those ones toward the end were like home shopping channels or whatever. Uh, I remember really it was like channel like 20 something through 50 was maybe the stuff that we'd actually watch or whatever it was. But uh, yeah, if you had a similar experience, and if there were any shows that you're like that with, where you just have a fond memory of a particular season, or in part of your building of your TV collection, you do a similar thing. Where it's like, I occasionally would like to watch an episode of that show, but I'm never going to watch the whole thing. So you have a season or two to put on every once in a while. I'd love to hear below uh, if you have an experience like that. And also, if you want, what are some of those TV series that you really do collect? Like, how do we do with things like Star Trek? What are those things that you do want the whole thing and you revisit frequently? What are some of your absolute favorites you'd like to go back to?